There's nothing here. Come on. Don't drop the beers. It's safe? It's safe. Nothing's been out here for years. There's still tiny tomatoes dried on the vine from Grandma's old garden. Won't those attract rats or something? Ah, the fence is seeded with poison like you wouldn't believe. Grandma doesn't like the little creatures. It's nice to get out of that house for a bit, right? Um, yeah. It's nice to just be away. From her. No. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. It's gotten really bad the last few months. Some days you can barely see her in there. Like, there's this thing that looks like her, but if you look into those eyes, nothing. And then she shits herself for the third time that day, and you have to remind yourself, this is Grandma. She would do this for you. She did do it for you. Stop being a fucking baby. You have her, what? Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays? Mondays and Saturdays. I, I made Josh take Wednesdays. He never sees her otherwise. Ah, oh, so that's why the diapers I get to change on Thursday mornings look like they were put on by an uncoordinated child. <laughs> I'm trying to teach him how to do it properly. She scares him. She scares all of us. He just has fat fingers. Does she ever say things to you? Full sentences? No. Sometimes I catch her lucid, but she usually just says words, what she wants to eat, and other people's names. I talk to her, though. Full sentences. Slap Josh in the back of the head the last time I caught him baby talking to her. She spoke to me the other night. Oh, wow. What'd she say? She was just talking about stuff that happened a really long time ago. Like, Grandpa being the precise kind of dick who never did any housework, but who would swipe a finger across the cabinet tops to check for dust. Regular grandma stuff. Yeah, regular grandma stuff. Except she... What's that? Probably some other neighbor. Some other backyard. It sounded real close by. You were saying? She... She actually... Went on for a while. The whole time I was bathing and changing her, she wouldn't stop talking. I tried to ask questions, but she just kept on talking fierce, uninterruptible, something in her eyes I hadn't seen before. She was there. She was at the surface of herself, and I could see how hard it had been trying to get there. The way she talked, it was like she needed to tell me something important. What was she saying? She was talking about the fall of empire, the plague. Mm, wow. I forgot she lived through all of that. It's crazy. She wouldn't stop talking about the plague, how it ripped through her neighbors in their apartment building, how she thought it maybe lived in the vents, the thing that was killing them. It never came for her, but she lived for years thinking that it would. She'd cough, choke on a sip of water and think, this is it. It's here! Damn, Grandma! <laughs> so that's when I tried to say something to lighten the mood. I said, but Grandma, isn't that how you met second Grandpa? Oh, Jesus, you brought him up? She used to say all the time that he was the love of her life. Yeah, because he died before she started to resent him. And also, he died. <laughs> you must have really set her off. I wasn't trying to, and I didn't. She just half turned towards me and then carried on talking. She said, I remember those years when we were angry. We were so angry, we finally decided nothing they could do would be enough. We would march up to them, march up to the seat of power. We would tear them from their thrones built on the bones of our friends, our lovers, our servants. <sighs> Grandma taught me how to shoot when I was five. Guess it turned out to be really important. I think she still has a whole bunker of canned food in the basement. It's gotta be 50 years old by now. <sighs> it's funny. Now that you're telling me all this, I feel like- Did, did she say something to you? Mm. I didn't think so. 
like I said, just words, but there was this one night. I can't remember when exactly. It's, tell me. it's weird. I feel like I'm seeing it through something. Not a fog, but like a piece of gauze stuck over a camera lens. Like when you smoke too much and reality becomes a bit fuzzy, but it's still real. I don't smoke anymore. It makes me paranoid. Oh, sorry. Forgot. <laughs> anyway, I was feeding her. I just blended up the stuff she likes most, the carrot and pea soup that comes in a bag. Oh. And she grabs my wrist. And I drop the spoon, because Grandma's grip is tight. She immediately lets go. And I'm wiping the gunk off the floor when she starts talking. You don't know anything about me, she's saying. You don't know anything about the past or the future. How nice it must be to live like you do, knowing nothing, empty. She was saying it in this funny, speechifying voice, like the version of your voice when you do uh, speaking in public and you want people to take you seriously. So I laughed a bit at that. You don't want to laugh at Grandma. Well, I know. I didn't mean to. I wasn't thinking. And then she grabs me by the hair. That strong grip again, coming out of nowhere. Usually, she can't even use the grip bar by the toilet. But my roots are screaming. I say, Grandma, let me go. You're hurting me. And she says, good. You deserve it. But she lets go. Wow. Throwback. Oh, I know. That hair move was straight out of her babysitting playbook. She stopped once I was taller than her, but I think I let her for a long time before that, when I could easily have pulled her off. <sighs> I, I think it meant a lot to her that I did. Mm. Grandma was feisty. Anyway, I'm still bent over wiping this disgusting soup off the floor. She keeps talking, but I only catch some of it. She says something about mm, the last president we ever had 50 years ago. Fall of empire. And then she says, those fucking anarchists. And that caught my attention, so I stood up and I looked at her and she looked right back at me. She said, Josh, you aren't a fucking anarchist like those fools, are you? She didn't know you were you. <sighs> Mistaken for Josh, of all people. Hippie who's never seen a disposable diaper in his life. Did you tell you weren't? Weren't. An anarchist? Oh, yeah. Not like that did any good. She just went on. Josh, 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 Josh. She wailed. I tried to tell her I wasn't Josh either, but she wouldn't listen. Josh, she said firmly. Do you know how they killed my grandfather? The brutish women. The pretty communist women who dressed up and lured him into the woods. And they were proud of it too. They boasted of it many years later. Their body counts. And everyone said he deserved it too. And I had to pretend to agree. That is until the time of the great anger came. Jesus. She was sobbing too, actually crying, just clinging to me. I kind of rubbed her back and made some awkward cooing noises and then whispered, I'm not Josh. <sighs> and then I don't remember if I was smoking that night, but I must have been. It was weird. It was like it was happening to someone else. She moves back for me, fast. Faster than I've ever seen her move before. And then she just whispers. You are not Josh. And I can still see her in there through her eyes. Last time I had was years ago, before Grandpa One died. This, this is freaking me out a bit, won't lie. You wanna stop talking about her? Yeah, please. Just for a bit. Okay.
What? I, I saw something. Was it big? No. A rat? I don't know. It wasn't shaped like anything I know. Mm. Maybe it was just an ugly raccoon. Yeah, I know what raccoons look like. Okay. The thing is, I can't remember what happened next. Huh? Like after Grandma said. You weren't, Josh. I don't remember what happened next. You probably got her in bed, tucked her in, cleaned her up, do it again and again, and you stop remembering each individual instance. It's just one massive tangled ball of habit. Nah. I remember every night I spent with Grandma. Well, maybe you just forgot bits of this one, like your brain ran out of space or something. Maybe. Oh my God! What? Uh, what is it? I totally forgot about this thing I was gonna show you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> is that? Grandma. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> Josh said she dressed up like that, went around trying to seduce anarchist boys to, you know, lure them into the woods, <laughs> revenge for her great granddad. Oh. She hid knives in her bra. Did it work? Josh said he wouldn't have gone for it. Those aren't the kind of chicks anarchist dudes are into. Too rigidly beautiful, he said. To behold into something larger. <laughs> Damn. Grandma was hot, though. Grandma was hot. Uh, if you're keeping that one for the spank bank, I don't want to know. I'm not. I'm not. Look, doing it now. There, gone. Oh, I wouldn't blame you if you did. Grandma had me. Stop it. And now she's a blob. An empty blob. <laughs>